If my house was a pop culture icon, I would love to say that it would be Frida Kahlo. One of the things that she embraced was color, and I think that we see that represented really well throughout the space here. Hi, I'm Wendy Justine, and this is Cashew. Welcome to our Sweet Digs. Quick fact, did you know that we're located on the oldest street in New Orleans? Come on in. I pay $2,500 a month for this three bedroom, one and a half bathroom house. I would describe my neighborhood as an eclectic kind of vibe. Bayou Road is one of the oldest streets in the city of New Orleans, and this particular area actually used to be an indigenous trade portage. Before Hurricane Katrina, this was an area that was heavily dominated by African Americans and people of color. And after Hurricane Katrina, we've seen a lot of people being pushed out of their homes. And the thing that I love the most about this neighborhood now is that you're seeing a resurgence of black home ownership and also with businesses as well. I would describe the style of this house as colorfully classic. This is a beautiful traditional New Orleans style house. And so we have a lot of beautiful transom windows and details to the fireplaces and crown molding throughout the house as well. And so we really just kind of played into that and just punched up the color as a way to really brighten and liven it up. So this is the first bedroom that's located just off of the front door. It's a really beautiful and bright space. I love to sit here and cozy up with a nice book. I'm a consultant and I work here in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I split my time between Los Angeles as well, where I also work as a yoga instructor and wellness instructor. I think one of the aspects of my life that most influences my home is travel. I love to be able to pick up things whenever I'm traveling around, just to have reminders of the places I've gone, the people I've met, and the experiences I've had while abroad. This bag down here, this super colorful bag, it's actually a hand-knitted bag. It's a mochila from Colombia, and I spent about nine months there teaching in Santa Marta, Colombia. This is actually a piece that I got when I was traveling in India. I did my yoga certification in Goa, and so this is one of the sound bowls that we use. Sound is thought to be a really healing modality for therapies, and so using sound to help elevate and also cleanse and clear a space is also really good. This is actually a really special piece for me. My maternal grandmother, Doris, was known for her love of elephants. She had a collection that amassed to over about 300 elephants. And so when she passed away, this was something that I kept with me just as a keepsake and something to keep her close by. So past the first bedroom, we walk into this spacious living room area. One of the most expensive things I have in the home is probably artwork. So this house is a collaboration between my family and myself. My cousins own the property, but I live here and manage the property as well. You'll see a lot of artwork throughout the space here, and that's part of the private collection coming from the McKenna Museums. This is an untitled piece by an unknown artist, but I really just kind of vibe with this woman here. I feel like at the end of the day, this is how I'm feeling. My cousins own the McKenna Museums and they started it maybe about 15 to 20 years ago. And the McKenna Museums is just a private collection of artwork and also artifacts. We share the history of New Orleans free people of color and it's a really important and untold story, especially here in the city of New Orleans. So not just knowing and learning the story of enslavement, but learning how black people were able to build this city, to obtain wealth in this area and the contributions that they've had to the city as well. Over here, we have these French doors that actually lead out to a nice patio area. So I love having this outdoor space as an extension of the home. It's a really great place to have friends and family come out and enjoy themselves here and really enjoy the outdoor space. Because I spend my time between Los Angeles and New Orleans, when I'm not here, I list the property on Airbnb. I think it's a great way to supplement my income. So this is the kitchen area, and one of the things that you're gonna notice the most here is the color. I'm really big into color therapy. I love to be able to embrace color. I love to wear a lot of color, and I like to be surrounded by it. And I think it just creates a really cozy and comfortable environment. The countertops are original to the property. We just decided to play into the color and really bring the green in here to allow the blue countertops to be able to pop. And it was actually inspired by this light fixture that we have here. It's a Tiffany-inspired light, and so we've got these different colors of the reds, the blues, and greens in here. And so we thought it would be a good way to create a dynamic space by just using paint rather than having to bring a bunch of extra stuff in. So welcome to my bedroom. This is the second bedroom in the house. I love to keep fresh flowers in the space. 
We have this beautiful clear quartz and also rose quartz just to help promote that unconditional love with the heart chakra candle, providing that beautiful rose and Palo Santo scent. If you walk through this door here, this will take you to our full bath. The bathroom is actually original to the house. We brought this beautiful blue color coming in and playing in from the kitchen again. It also matches the tile in here, but there's this beautiful clawfoot tub that I love to take a good bath. I love a good soak. In my next home or in my dream home, one thing that I would absolutely love to have is an additional full bathroom, especially because I have so many friends and family coming to visit. That way we can all move and groove throughout the house without having to bump into each other. And this brings us to the last room in the house, which is the third bedroom. I love the soft green color. We've got the floor still painted the green in here, but this has a nice twin trundle bed. So there's two beds in here. So this is great for when my niece and nephews can come to visit. I really like it because it's nice and quiet and secluded in the back of the house. So you can have your own little oasis back here. This is an heirloom piece that was gifted to me by my mama, my paternal grandmother. And when I was looking for stuff to furnish my home, she was gracious enough to lend me this piece to have in my space. So I'm so happy to have it here. It has a lot of sentimental value. For me, home is a feeling that you get. So it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly your place of where you lay your head. I think home can be wherever you are as long as you're centered and feeling safe and secure with who you are and where you're at in the moment. I feel like it's important to be able to come into this space and to really set down my roots here. I'm from New Orleans, I love being here, I love the rich culture and the history here, and so I think it's great for black people to be able to claim ownership in the space where they were able to grow up and to be able to share that with other people as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me and checking out my sweet digs. To watch more videos, click here, and to subscribe, click here.